What would your superpower be if you could choose one? It's not only X-Men or the Justice League that have them. We all wish that we had one though, right? And although it's rare to find humans with genuine superpowers, that's not the case in the animal kingdom. Some animals have multiple superpowers. From electrifying fish to bomb beetles, gravity-defying goats and GPS pigeons, animals with incredible abilities that, like the latest superhero movie, exceed our expectations and blow our minds. Here are 15 animals with real superpowers. Number 15. Electric eels. It's shocking to think that an animal can create electricity. What's even more fascinating about this creature is that it creates a charge underwater. Meet the electric eel. They're notorious for being able to produce an electric shock of up to around 600 volts, a little more than the shock that a plug socket delivers. A shock of this size could cause muscle contractions and a painful numbing sensation. This makes it one of the more strong bioelectricity generators in the world. Although not technically an eel, but actually a type of knife fish, these electric creatures get their power from specialized cells, a battery-like array called electrocytes. And these cells line most of the eel's body. Disc-like in shape, these cells each manipulate the volt by controlling the flow of sodium and potassium ions across the cell membranes. Linked together, they create a kind of natural car battery. When the eel spots predators or prey, they charge up, and it's a wrap. An electric eel produces electricity in pulses rather than continuous bursts, and following a large electrical event, the animal needs to recharge. If the eel lived in air, the current could be as high as one ampere, turning the creature's body into the equivalent of a 500 volt battery. You wanna know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14, cyanide millipedes. Millipedes are amazing, a marvel of natural engineering with the most legs on one body. But this type of millipede has got a little something extra to defend itself and is famous for a different reason. One multi-legged creature, Aphiloria polychroma, found on the forest floor of southwest Virginia's Cumberland Mountains, is coated with cyanide. These millipedes seem immune to the poisonous effects of cyanide. They can even manufacture and use the chemical against their foes. Some may even sedate their enemies. That's some next-level evolutionary adaptability. Cyanide millipedes? This is actually a fairly common defense mechanism among millipedes like the dragon millipede or cherry millipede and even North America's yellow spotted variety. Various species secrete hydrogen cyanide and benzoyl cyanide when disturbed. The amount secreted by an individual millipede is not enough to seriously harm a human. However, to birds and rodents, the millipede cyanide will most likely succeed in killing it. Similar cyanide millipedes in the Appalachians can produce 18 times the amount of the toxin needed to kill a pigeon, enough to protect these abundant arthropods from most predators. Number 13. The Mimic These birds' superpowers are so unique that even artificial intelligence companies are trying to recreate it. The lyrebird, one of Australia's most distinctive birds, are famous for their abilities to recreate or mimic various sounds, even human noises. This bird can even mimic camera clicks and chainsaws, and it's this mimicry superpower that has scientists all a twitter over the very vocal bird. While the territorial call is melodious, the invitation display call sounds include twanging, clicking, scissors grinding, thudding, whirring, galloping, not what you'd expect from a bird. And often these noises get confused for the very mechanical sounds we're used to. These noisy or metallic sounds are the lyrebird's own and not mimicry, and the noises are a part of their elaborate courtship display. The avian sound producing organ is the syrinx, however their motivation to mimic is not entirely clear. But do lyrebirds in the wild really mimic chainsaws? Biologists have yet to resolve the function of avian mimicry, and likely there is more than a single function. What is clear, however, is that they have a stunning ability to accurately mimic the sounds of the world around them. Number 12. Shape-shifting sea cucumber. They don't have any limbs. 
They don't have any eyes. They have a mouth, they have a butt, and a whole bunch of organs in between. So what exactly is so special about sea cucumbers? Apparently, they are incredibly valuable and people risk their lives to scoop them out of the ocean. Why exactly? Besides being considered a delicacy in Asia for centuries, now science is cluing in to the sea cucumber's astounding superpowers. It has everything to do with their collagen, the type of protein in the connective tissues that apparently make sea cucumbers the shapeshifters of the sea. It's called mutable connective tissues, and the creature can maneuver between being jelly-like and firm and in various shapes through the control of their nervous system. The fibrous building blocks of collagen in the connective tissue change as the creature shapeshifts. Pretty incredible, right? And so scientists conducted experiments that would ideally recreate this using titanium-based sheets in water. They successfully converted a hard gel into soft matter using inorganic material inspired by the almost sea cucumber. And they used different temperatures to do it. Number 11. Platypus Electrolocation As if this creature couldn't get any weirder, the first Europeans to ever see drawings of the platypus believed it ultimately to be a hoax. However, it's three animals in one, a kind of all-terrain animal, part duck, part beaver, part lizard too. It's one of only a few animals that combines traits from all three of those mentioned. And ever more incredible, the platypus has electrolocation capabilities. Located in their snout are tiny nerve endings or electroreceptors. The platypus has almost 40,000 electroreceptors arranged in their bill, which helps them locate prey as accurately as possible. By making quick head movements when swimming, platypuses constantly expose the most sensitive part of their bill to determine the distance to prey from the delay between the arrival of electrical signals and pressure changes in the water. You wouldn't ever imagine it, but it's true. Swimming in the rivers and streams of its native Australia, Using its electrosenses, the platypus closes its eyes, nose, and ears when it dives in search of dinner. And even with their eyes closed and without their sense of smell, the platypus can seek out bottom-dwelling invertebrates such as insect larvae, crustaceans, worms, and mollusks. Number 10. The Fastest Falcon To experience a bird's eye view of this falcon diving is something you cannot fully comprehend. How can a peregrine falcon dive at speeds of over 100 miles an hour? It turns out this falcon is equipped with strong muscles, perfectly designed wing shape, and is built for flights at major speeds. And no other birds can match the flying speed of this bird's hunting dive. You wouldn't believe the incredible forces that little bird body goes through in this dive alone after climbing to extreme heights with freezing temperatures the dive begins, and this bird plummets at up to 200 miles per hour directly towards its target, perhaps an unlucky pigeon or seagull. Incredibly, the peregrine falcon is also extremely accurate despite the force of gravity. The raptor is still able to nail the target. What bird can stand a chance with that flying at you from above, like a rocket from the sky? The species was nearly wiped out 50 years ago because of pesticides used to protect crops from bugs or rodents that were damaging bird populations. But in 1972, that changed when those pesticides were banned, and by 1999, the falcon numbers made a recovery and were removed from the endangered species list. Number 9. Chitin Teeth no, They might not look like they'd have the hardest known material created by a living organism as teeth, but chitin certainly do have super teeth made of super material. It's actually not that much different than, say, X-Men's Wolverine and his hand blades, except it's a mollusk. And it's real. It's magnetite, the hardest material made by a living organism. Pretty cool, huh? Well, like with all great unusual things in nature, scientists have taken notice while researching naturally occurring magnetic materials. The goal is to develop similar nanoscale energy sources like the chitons possess naturally that could potentially power our personal devices in the future or benefit medical technology in general. And chitin, like the gumbu chitin, have a mouth full of the magnetic material magnetite and scientists hope to mimic this genetic process. Magnetite mainly commonly comes from the Earth's crust. However, the gumbu chitin is one of the rare animals that produces it. And for more than 400 million years, these marauding marine mollusks have roamed the seas, munching on algae with their glittering black metallic super magnetic teeth. They have a shell made of eight plates, and some species live up to 20 years. Number 8. The Pistol Shrimp 
You won't believe that something the size of your finger could be this powerful. One of its claws has been compared to a handgun. When a pistol shrimp's prey is in sight, which is usually another shrimp, its claw clamps so quickly it fires a bubble pellet to its target in a matter of seconds. Yet yeah, no joke, the exploding air stuns the prey and it's game over, y'all. Dinner time. They have two specially shaped claws, one of which is enlarged and is capable of forming cavitation bubbles inside of it and can shoot the air at speeds of up to 62 miles per hour, thus creating a vortex ring much like a vortex cannon. So you can see why science benefits from studying these incredibly gifted hunters. Pistol shrimp's power is so intense it reaches temperatures almost as high as those on the sun's surface. It's that hot. You might not be able to see the heat with the naked eye, but the faint glow can be picked up by special instrumentation. Despite the nasty bubble bullet, they exhibit extraordinarily social awareness. They can live in colonies or alongside anemones in harmony symbiotically. Sometimes they chill in pairs. Number 7. Cuttlefish Camouflage when we want to really grasp the mutant-like superpowers that exist in our natural world, the cuttlefish have got to take the cake. It's a master of camouflage, and it visibly transforms its color and shape, but can even change texture and visibly manipulate light and dark inside its body. Just amazing. They are, in scientific terms, cephalopod mollusks. Their camouflage happens by rapidly extracting visual information from the background and neurally implementing it throughout the rest of the body. Cuttlefish can show a variety of camouflage, and they can instantly change them using their neurally controlled chromatophore system built into their skin. This species adapt their own camouflage patterns in ways that are specific to their habitat. An animal could settle in the sand and adjust its appearance to match, with another animal a few feet away in a slightly different microhabitat like algae or rocks, and it will be camouflaged totally differently. The circular mollusks in its skin can be seen as little spikes or bumps and shapeshift according to so it can match the textural irregularities of, say, rocks or kelp. Cuttlefish use their camouflage to hunt and sneak up on their prey. Then when the prey tries to escape, the cuttlefish open their eight arms and shoot out two long tentacles to grab them. Number 6. Bombardier Beetle These beetles have turned to chemical warfare. Their evolutionary superpower takes the art of escape to an explosive extreme, literally. In the bombardier's abdomen is a chamber that holds a mixture of a hydrogen peroxide and chemicals called hydroquinones. When the beetle feels threatened, this chamber empties into another reaction chamber that contains catalysts to kick off the explosion. Chemicals mixed in a special internal chamber violently burst out of the critter in a boiling, noxious, pungent spray. In explosive bombardier beetle defenses, the reaction of the two chemicals mixing together is thought to be of the scalding 100 degrees Celsius. And in the presence of a potential predator, this mix explodes out of the bombardier beetle not as a single stream, but as a volley of rapid fire blasts. The chemical burn incapacitates smaller attackers like ants or other beetles. The African bombardier beetle can move its body to fire its spray in almost any direction even targeting sites on its own back. Scientists have suggested that this incredible marksmanship may have evolved to give beetles a fighting chance against foes like ants that can attack from any direction. Number 5. The Immortal Jellyfish For millennia, people have been trying to uncover the secret of immortality. Is it even possible? Or is it the stuff of science fiction and vampire movies? But these immortal jellyfish can press reset any time when faced with the challenges of harsh environments or the mere limitations of time itself, like a jellyfish snooze button. At its biggest size, these little jellyfish only reach 0.2 inches, smaller than a baby toenail. Yet they literally have the ability to live on and on and on. In response to physical damage or when there's a shortage of food, they transform back into a polyp. And when it re-emerges, the born-again polyp colony eventually buds and releases medusae that are genetically identical to the same jellyfish, only stronger, better, and faster, a rare process known as transdifferentiation. And it's a particular interest to scientists for its potential applications in medicine. By undergoing this process, a cell can become an entirely different type of cell. The immortal jellyfish uses cell recycling. This important area of study in stem cell research could help scientists replace cells that have been damaged by disease or maybe bottle immortality for the world to enjoy. Number 4. Ibex Goat Mountain Walking These wild goats have garnered some well-deserved attention for scaling the walls. 
Yeah, it's true. Goats that can defy gravity, or so it appears, like the alpine ibex goats of the 160-foot-tall Singino Dam in Antrona Valley Natural Park, Italy. A member of the antelope family, alpine ibex are native to the European Alps, and they make their homes at various elevations throughout the year, 5,900 to 10,800 feet, believe it or not. And they do it all for a lick of the rocks and stones. The bricks contain mineral salts and the goats are willing to scurry along sheer vertical walls to get at them. And while it's somewhat anxiety inducing, these animals are actually quite well suited for this extreme foot foraging. When you get that high up to navigate treacherous cliffs and steep mountain walls, their special concave hooves act like suction cups. So it's no problem for these salty climbers. They help them hold tight to even the tiniest of surfaces. They can also spread their toes independently for extra grip. The animal has a climbing body with short legs, a low center of gravity, strong muscles, and split hooves with sharp sides and soft, concave undersides that help them grip. But still, it's hard to imagine how they adapt to those heights. Number 3. Magnetic Pigeons Ever heard of messenger pigeons? Sometimes they're called homing pigeons too. Their job is to relay messages written on tiny pieces of paper and placed in a tiny tube strapped to the tiny bird's leg to be delivered over extremely long distances. How? Magneto reception, that's how. Its innate homing ability indicates that individual neurons in birds' brains can relay crucial info about magnetic fields surrounding them, possibly providing the animals with an internal GPS. Another way of saying it's an old expression when it comes to being good with directions called a nose for the north, and these birds have that nose too, literally. Some experts believe that the birds relied on different odor cues in the atmosphere to find their way, but the most cutting-edge research suggests that they're using magnetic cues. Pigeons' remarkable navigational feats have long been pegged to the birds' ability to sense magnetic fields, but pinning down how they do so has frustrated scientists for years. The scientists then carried out tests designed to impair their ability to detect a magnetic field, and the results are consistent with the theory that pigeons detect magnetic fields using particles located in their upper beaks. Number 2. Star-Nosed Mole's Incredible Senses The star-nosed mole has major talents. Hidden within its unique mouth organ are over 100,000 nerve fibers. That's five times more than the amount found on the human hand, all contained within a space no bigger than your fingertip. This mole can locate, identify, and devour its food in a mere 227 milliseconds, super fast. The pace of the star-nosed mole's feeding is so fast that it's approaching the maximum speed at which its nervous system can process information. In fact, occasionally it does outpace its own brain and skips over objects that were food. Once its brain catches up and realizes that the morsel was edible, the mole does a double take and returns to the food. Whenever its nose touches soil, a mental image is created, allowing the mole to piece together a picture of where it is. Using a high-speed video camera, they found that when a tentacle touched something, because the mole's eyes are pretty well useless, it relies on its nerve-filled appendages to navigate the world around it. Through studying these moles, it could result in much-needed drugs and therapies to treat chronic pain. Number 1. The Mantis Shrimp Last but not least, the ultimate powerhouse. These animals predate dinosaurs by 170 million years. The mantis shrimp is one of the most ancient animals on Earth, and it's a mean punching machine. It's highly aggressive, territorial, and it doesn't take kindly to strangers. Folded away beneath its body is a pair of lethal, club-like front legs. If threatened, the mantis shrimp can whip out these appendages at speeds of 75 feet per second. That's 50 times faster than the blink of an eye, or about the same as the trajectory of a 22 caliber bullet, and with a force some 100 times that of its own weight, making it the strongest self-powered strike by an animal. Mantis shrimps create cavitation bubbles that are so powerful that they reach temperatures almost as high as the sun, like the pistol shrimp. Peacock mantis shrimp are one of the largest and most colorful species of mantis shrimp and are therefore desirable for the private aquariums. At first sight, its shell is a stunning kaleidoscope of green, orange, blue, and red, while leopard-like spots adorn its legs. But don't be fooled, individuals will often eat many of the other fish and invertebrates in a tank, so some actively avoid this species. Those were 15 animals with real superpowers. Thanks for watching.